Welcome to Taking the Car. We're here with Seat today, looking at the all new 2022 Seat Arona. This is Seat small SUV, and it's had an update to the inside, to the outside, and I'm gonna show you around it, explain the differences, and we're gonna take them for a drive and compare the Experience Lux and the FR Sport model. Let's start off looking at the exterior of the all new Seat Arona. So a couple of things you'll notice. First of all, there's a new grille design on these cars. They're more sporty and the car has a more purposeful SUV style design. The other thing too is there are all new LED headlights and daytime running lights on these cars. Now, if you look at the bottom of the bumper, you'll see there's a new lower half of the bumper down here, which is different between the FR and the experience models and you can see there's little strips down here at the bottom and on this one it's kind of a whole unit with different contrast colors the other thing you'll notice down here is both of these have adaptive cruise control and lane assist and all the driver assistance features that you could want and of course there are new repositioned and redesigned fog lights at the front here as standard the new arona comes with 17 inch wheels but if you go up to the fr sport or the experience models then you get 18 inch wheels these are two of the 18 inch wheel designs on this the experience lux model i really like these diamond cut alloy wheels they look really really cool this is another option as well on the fr sport and along the side of the cars you can see they've got a very purposeful design which looks really cool and sporty for an suv i really like this logo on the back side here and then also on the newer owner there's a new diffuser and spoiler here and this diffuser is contrast on this model which is the fr sport it actually has a space for the exhaust here so you've actually got a cut out whereas on the other model the experience lux it doesn't have that on this all new arona there are 10 colors and three contrasts for the roof the new colors are two kinds of blue and a camouflage which you can also see on the formental check out my formental video if you haven't done that where i compare the models just like this car so what about space in the back of the all new Arona. Well, you'll be pleased to know that there are actually 400 liters of space in this car, which means there's plenty of space for you to put all your things that you might need. And there are tie down points and tether points in the back of this car. And you've got a movable boot lid as well, where you can adjust the height of it. So you can have a flatter lip if you want to put stuff in the back of the car, just what you would expect from any SUV. How much space is there in the back of the all new Arona? Well, let's find out, shall we? It feels very spacious back here. There's a lot of space here. I've got plenty of knee room and I've got head room and it's a really nice interior back here. There is plastic on the back doors here, but generally inside it's really, really nice. And one new feature of the all new Arona is there are lights in the back here which you can use to illuminate whoever's in the back seat, which wasn't in the previous model, and which Seat says they've had a lot of demand for. Welcome to the interior of the all new Arona. You can see there are some changes here. We've got soft plastic on the upper dashboard. We've got a bigger infotainment screen. We've got a 10.25 inch digital cockpit as well. And inside here, everything has just had a bit of a redesign. The vents have LED lighting in them as well. Talking about the technology inside this car, there is Android Auto wireless and Apple CarPlay wireless as well in this car, as well as manual climate control. This model, the Experience Lux, also has a start stop button here, so you can turn it on with keyless entry. This is a really nice interior. It makes me really happy to be sitting inside this car. We also have an SOS call button up here. And of course, say I have their all new Connect app, which lets you see where your car's parked, check if the doors are locked or unlocked, and check your fuel information because it has a built-in eSIM. This brings this car again up to a level of a much more expensive model with all this cool technology inside, as well as a driver assist technology as well. Let's take both these cars for a drive now and compare the FR Sport and the Experience Lux and see what differences there are between the different models. This is the Seat Arona FR Sport trim level with 110 horsepower from its dual clutch automatic gearbox. This car has a zero to 60 time of 10.8 seconds, top speed of 118 miles an hour. We've got 200 newton meters of torque, so it's got quite a good amount of torque. And this car costs 25,110 pounds on the road. So this car is really well specced. 
It's got all the tech you could want. We've got a big touch screen in the middle here. We've got a digital driver's display. We've got wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay. It's got sporty accents, which are red around the air vents. The steering wheel's got Nafa leather. It's just a really, really great quality car. There's space in the back for your family. Say I've added lights to the back here, so at nighttime, it's easier to illuminate what's going on in the back of the car. There's 400 liters of space in the back as well. In terms of driving, as we're going over bumps now, I can barely feel them. And it's just really easy to handle and drive. The steering feels quite sharp, actually, for a, for a smaller SUV. It's going where I want it to go. And like I said, we have all the driving assistance features. So it means we've got total safety for you and your family. Being the FR Sport model, this is a slightly more sporty model. So we do have a sports mode down here, which changes the gearbox into a more sporty setting, which gives us a more responsive throttle, where you can definitely feel more of that 110 horsepower. That's a really nice feature to have on this car. And overall, this car is just really, really comfortable and sporty to drive for what it is. And I think this is a really good value. Now, is the other model that we have, the Experience Lux model, is that going to feel the same or different? Let's get in that car and have a check and see what that's like to drive. This is the Experience Lux. So this is also 110 PS. This car also has a zero to 60 time of 10.8 seconds. And this is a top range model. So it's got park assist and a reversing camera, which is really, really handy, especially when you're reversing down onto a lake like I've been filming these cars today. But obviously being able to park your car in small spaces, having those cameras and the ability to have park assist is really, really useful. There's no perforated steering wheel, so it feels slightly less sporty and it doesn't have the red trim and the red stitching that the FR Sport did. But, you know, that's to be expected. This is, this is the top of the range model, the fully spec model and this isn't a sports car. Driving wise, this is very similar. It's got the same engine, it's got the same gearbox, the same suspension. This car is 26,255, so it's about another thousand pounds more, but I think you get really good value with that, with the added features like the reversing camera. What I would say about these cars in general is they are very, very similar and they're really, really good value cars. They have all the best equipment. They've all got a nice interior. Yeah, there are some plasticky bits. You'll notice that. But for everything you get, for all the tech, all the driver assistance, you can't really beat it. There's nothing better. Obviously, if you're after a car which is an SUV, then you've got the new Ibiza. Check out my video on those as well. But if you're after an SUV, then you can't go wrong with the Seat Arona. I think this is a really good car. You should definitely check it out at your local dealer if you're interested and take one for test drive and see all the cool technology in here because this will not only keep you safe, but with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, make sure you never get lost as well. So what's my final conclusion on the Seat Arona? Let's go back to the dock at the end of the pier and see what I think. So that's a new Seat Arona. These are really great small SUVs. They have loads of great technology, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all the driver assistance. Just make sure that you spec a car which has got everything you want. I would recommend you go for the top end because you get everything and it's really worth it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Please give this a like and subscribe for more on Tech in the Car. Thank you very much.